My name is Val Kilmer. I'm an actor. I've lived a magical life and I've captured quite a bit of it. I was the first guy I knew to own a video camera. I was recently diagnosed with throat cancer. I'm still recovering and it is difficult to talk and to be understood. But I want to tell my story more than ever. An actor here who films no responsible parent would ever expose their children to Go, go, act. A check you made bounced. I'll get the money, okay? Yeah. Tell the producers. I need somebody up front. Listen, John Floyd, they took somebody else. Stephen Steven, 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 Headphones Neil here with a double feature review in the form of one documentary and one uh, film version documentary, I guess. So um, I recently saw the trailer for Val, the documentary based on Val Kimmler's life. I mean, he's still living, but basically just a recounting of his childhood and his growth over the years, his rise through the Hollywood ranks and all of that. And then I got to thinking before I watched it to see if JCVD, the film about Jean-Claude Van Damme's life, was streaming. And both are currently streaming on Amazon Prime Video, so I did give them both a watch. And overall, I want to say that they're both good reviews about the character of both actors. So starting with Val, um, overall I enjoyed the... Um, documentary tough as it was to watch but overall it was a good walk through his life there was a lot of footage that he had taken over the years um, especially since he had his, his own or had his own video camera and things like that the various stars he met over the year years um, the various films that he worked on like Top Gun Tombstone Batman Return or sorry Batman Forever and then the trouble with, for example, his when his father left and then his stepfather passing away, or his step the life with his stepfather, his mom passing away, and all those various elements, and then also leading into his throat cancer and surviving that. So overall, um, a lot of good points through his life and then a lot of sad points, but I enjoyed the way it was presented. So it gave a good look at um, Val Kilmer, the man versus the actor. So. I would definitely recommend giving it a watch um, just for that. I will say that some parts are rather hard to watch, or at least they were hard for me to watch. But in general, a good um, about an hour, definitely less than two hours of a documentary to watch. So jumping into JCVD, um, originally I had thought it was a similar documentary style film about Jean-Claude Van Damme's life. Um, as an actor and some of the difficulties and misrepresenta misrepresentations as far as portrayal of his character go. But it was actually presented in a slightly different format in the form of a film where he does a introspective look at his life in the form of a bank robbery. So um, he's not he doesn't quite draw the same um, star power that he used to. He, for example, loses a role in a film to Steven Seagal and then he's losing custody of his daughter via the divorce with his wife and so um, he's going to the bank to get pull some money as far as paying his lawyers for the court case and he walks into the midst of a um, bank law or a bank heist um, and then ultimately goes to jail which I couldn't quite figure out if because he was implicated in the uh, bank robbery or because of failure to pay debts or whatever like that but it ends with or basically it's a, an interesting introspection as far as the difficulties he's facing on a personal personal life and professional life and like the sadness he's feeling over potentially losing his daughter his personal life breaking up and then he's unable to get good roles in good films anymore so um, things like that so um, starting off in the film is a kind of confusing look as far as what's going on um, but by the end of it, you see that transition as far as um, JCVD realizing that his personal um, value as far as um, his role in Hollywood and back home and his personal life is not 
quite as good as he thinks it is so it's that transition from his what he thinks his um, life is like versus what it actually is and the stress and pressure that is taking on him and the people around him so overall um, and in general I find, found that for example the um, film on Val Kilmer, Kilmer was more even peeled. He had a general eye open as far as being personally aware of his life and life generally keeping him aware of what's going on around him versus um, it feels like JCVD was more about him getting caught up in the Hollywood life and then ultimately falling out of favor because he's now over the hill. By this time he's 47 in the film. Um, and he's generally fallen out of favor and he doesn't quite draw the same star power that he used to and because he doesn't have that grasp on where he's at in the industry and in real life he doesn't or he has to learn about all of that the hard way so in general both films are interesting to watch you get a good look at both um, actors as far as their personal and professional lives um, Val is harder to watch but it's more even paced as far as what's going on and it's easier to follow it's more of a it's kind of a lighthearted and fun take but then you do get those hard parts of his life um, factored in versus JCVD um, you get that progression of um, everything is okay and everything is going well and that transition into reality or the film life versus reality and learning about how JCVD's life is and coming to grip with uh, reality and what's going on. So over, I'm not going to actually grade the films because it's not one of those things where I want to grade them, but I would recommend watching them if you are fans of, or if you're a fan of either actor. So you can watch one or the other or both, but they're both good films to watch. So um, that will be my recommendation. Um, and so I'm not, there wasn't anything particular I wanted to watch as far as JCVT goes, especially since I recently did just watch um, The Expendables 2 with him and him being the, or being cast as a villain. But as far as Val goes, it did make me want to rewatch Tombstone. Um, as far as Westerns go, um, it is one of those, the better ones. So I'm going to rewatch that and I'll have a review up uh, soon about for that. Um, I did, it does also make me want to rewatch Top Gun, but I was thinking about rewatching that a little bit closer to when Top Gun 2 is expected to come out. Um, so right now, or it was scheduled to, I guess, come out on December 23rd, but it's supposed to, I guess it was, um, now come out as of November 19th, so, um, I guess we'll see, um, how how that pans or if that pans out, but I'll probably rewatch Top Gun one closer to the release of the sequel. But in any case, that's neither here nor there. So like I said, JCVD made me really want to watch one of his films. So I since I already rewatched The Expendables two, there's that. But uh, my review for Tombstone will come out soon. Um, as far as a review of a good uh, Val Kilmer film. So that's all there is for this particular review. So if you have any questions, comments, feedbacks, favorite film of your of either actor that you like, then you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. Or even if you watch Val or JCVD, what you um, thought about um, either film or both, you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. The website is headphonesneal.reviews for past episodes, subscription links, supporting the show, and all of that good stuff. But thanks for tuning into this particular episode, and until next time.